left of us today is Shivaji House Morning Assembly. By this quote, you all might have got hint of today's assembly. Yes, it is the significance of English language. A good thought can cherish your day. So let's call upon Chahar for the thought of the day. Good morning everyone. My name is Chahat Patel from class 7th. Today I am going to represent you with a thought. Today's thought is English is much more than a language. It is a bridge across the borders and cultures, a source of unity in a changing world. I repeat my thought. English is much more than a language. It is a bridge across the borders and cultures, a source of unity in a changing world. Thank you. Thank you, Chahar. When you talk, you are only repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you may learn something new. So to learn some new words, I invite Pearl on the stage. Good morning to one and all to you to hear. I am Pearl Rajput from class 6th step. Today my word of the day is government. G-O-U-R-M-A-N-D. Government. It means a person who enjoys eating and often ate too much. Example. We like government and travel with royalty. Second, gourmet. G-O-U-R-M-E-T. Gourmet. It means a person who is having knowledge of varieties of food. Example, the gourmet food is served in classic restaurant. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Paul, for the words. It's very important to be aware of current happenings in our country or world. So, for the news of the day, I invite Mahi. Bad news travels at the speed of light, but good news travels at the speed of falsehood. With this thought, I, Mahi Patel, is here to share some news headlines. Some news headlines are as follows. International news, 36 people died in Great Great Crash, Minor Region. China, China sent 25 planes, 3 ships and weapons toward Taliban. National news, Swan Del, Kerala CM to Del CMO with him. Sports news. Tanzo, Tanzo recall an NFA technology director from the speed minister. Silver medal of a silver medal of a MCGLGM and a national sport. Better news. Today's maximum degree temperature is 39 degree Celsius and minimum degree temperature is 25 degree Celsius. Thank you, Mahi. To enhance your knowledge about English language, let's call Sia for amazing facts. Good morning to one and all present over here. I am Sia from class 7th. Today, I am going to tell some amazing facts that are based on English language. Number 1. English is spoken by 952 millions of people around the world. Number 2. English is the national language of UK, America and Australia. Number 3. English is the official language of 67 countries including India. Number 4. English is the language of air. Number 5. English is the... Number 5. 90% of texts just consist of 100 words. Number 6. A new word is added to the dictionary in every two hours. Number 7. I am the com shortest complete text in English language. Number 8. The most used adjective word in English language is good. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, see. English is important in our life. That's why we study. We know that English is important in our lives. That's why we study in an English medium school. But are we using the language by understanding its significance? To say this very point with us, I invite Deepanita. Greetings to one and all present over here. I am Deepanita Halder from class 80, going to deliver a speech on the importance of English language. English is a widely spoken language in the world and is known as a global language. It is the official language of over 50 countries and is widely used in international business, science, technology, education and media. Hence, it is essential for individuals to be proficient in the English language. In the business world, English is used as a common language for international trade and communication. Companies which operate globally use English as their official language of communication, making it crucial for employees to be able to speak and write English fluently. This ensures effective communication and develops business relationships with clients and partners from different countries. 
Moreover, with the rapid growth of the technology and the internet, it has become possible for individuals to access vast amount of information and communicate with people all over the world. Most of this information is available in English and proficiency in the language allows individuals to take advantage of these resources and communicate effectively with others. English also plays a significant role in education. It is a medium of instruction in many schools and universities in non-English speaking countries. Moreover, most of the world's scientific and academic journals and research papers are written in English, making it a necessity for students and researchers to be able to understand and communicate effectively in the language. In the media and entertainment industry, English is a dominant language, and proficiency in the language allows individuals to enjoy and appreciate a wide range of content including books, movies, music, and television shows. In conclusion, proficiency in English is essential for individuals in today's globalized world. It opens up new opportunities for business, communication, and personal growth. As English continues to grow and expand, it is crucial for individuals to maintain and develop their English language skills. Thank you. Thank you, Deepa Nika. Whenever we speak any language, we need to speak it fluently and without any error in it. There are many common errors that are said by some of the people in English language. Let us see which are they and their correct form. To accomplish this task, I invite Trisha and Kana. May I know your good name, please? Of course, myself, I am Kanak Modi. Hi, I am Tisha Pari. Kanak, if you don't mind, may I help you to correct your sentence, please? Of course, you can. Kanak, whenever we introduce ourselves, no need to use myself. Just simply say, Hi, I am Kanak Modi, or my name is Kanak Modi. Oh, now I understood. Kanak, can I know more about your family? Of course, in my family, my parents are there and I am having two brothers and a sister. That's nice. But uh, you could say, I have two brothers and a sister instead of, I am having two brothers and a sister. No need to use present continuous tense here. Okay, Trisha. Trisha, have you given your examination? I am not the one who gives the examination. I am the one who takes the examination. Yes, I have taken my examination. And Kanak, from next time try to say, I take my exam. Okay, I will take care of myself next time. Kanak, does your father have a laptop? No, he do not have a laptop. No issues. But Kanak, here also I would like to correct you a little bit. Instead of this, you could say, he doesn't have a laptop. Whenever the subject is singular, no need to use, do not, use, does or doesn't. Tisha, have you heard about Deepak Polyester Company? Yes, my father works in that company. Oh, what a coincidence. My father is also working in the same company. Tisha, do you know their office is there not today? Oh, Kanak, office will be there always. Better you say whether it is a working day today for them or not. Okay, Tisha, for correcting my grammatical mistakes. Oh, Kanak, come on. What sorry and what thank you in friendship. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Trisha and Kanak. Certain words are also in English language pronounced wrongly by us. Let us have a quick look on some of them and their correct pronunciation. To accomplish this task, I invite Vidhi. Good morning to one and all present over here. I am Vidhi from class 80. He is here to tell you some words which we uh, spell incorrectly. So today I am going to tell you the correct way of pronouncing these words. So the first word uh, uh, pronunciation. We used to spell this word as pronunciation, but the correct way of pronunciation is pronunciation, not pronunciation. Now the second word we have armor. We used to spell this word as armor, but we spell this word as armor. L is silent here, so we have to spell this word as armor. Now the third word we have poem. We used to spell this word as poem, but uh, we use poem, so it is wrong to spell. Now, fourth word is director. We use British English, so we have to spell this word as director, not director. And now, at last, we have finance. We have to use this word as finance, but we spell this word as finance. So, I hope this will help you to improve your pronunciation. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Thank you, Vidhi. The influence of a good teacher can never be erased. So, for the teacher's